Hello, welcome to our current bedtime routine. Um, Isaiah is right now about 21 months old, so he'll be two in October. We've been doing this routine pretty much since he turned one, I would say. Um, so we try to start his routine off with a bath. To be honest, though, I probably only bathe him like three or four times a week. Um, I just don't think it's necessary to bathe him every single day. But um, when we do have a bath, we do it in our master bathroom. I really, really love where we live, but the one downside is we do not have a tub in our master bathroom. So we were bathing Isaiah in this kitchen sink basically up until a couple weeks ago when we decided to upgrade him to this um, inflatable tub that we just keep in our shower which is working out really, really great. I really like it. It's way more room than the sink had for him, and he really seems to enjoy it as well. So I'll link this in my Amazon shop for you if you want to check it out in the description below, along with most of the other products that we're going to be using in this video. Um, so basically, I try to bribe <laughs> Isaiah to get into the tub with these finger paints that I found at the Target dollar spot. Um, they... I don't know why, but he loves them. So as you saw earlier in this video, he was just like running around and trying to avoid getting in the bathtub. So once I told him I had these paints, he was much more inclined to get in. <laughs> um, and I was just showing you that we're using the Johnson & Johnson tear-free shampoo and soap on him right now. We've been using um, basically whatever soaps we got from our baby shower when I was pregnant with Isaiah. That's how much soap we got. Um, we've never had to buy any for him <laughs> because we got so much bath stuff. Um, so this is just what we happen to be using at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'm. you can see here that it's very cramped quarters as I'm giving him a bath. So I'm just letting him play and have fun after I've bathed him and I'm hanging out, taking a little rest while he is having the time of his life. Okay, so now I'm just getting Isaiah out of the tub to dry him off, and we're going to move over to the sink where we brush his teeth. As a mom of a toddler, I hope that it's not just me who struggles with brushing their, children, their child's teeth. This is probably like the most stressful part of our day, honestly. Every time I try to brush his teeth, it's a battle. I will say tonight was probably the best it's ever been, so I think we are moving in the right direction. But man, he does not like me <laughs> brushing his teeth. So I'm showing you here that we're using Tom's fluoride free toothpaste for kids, um, which is what most doctors recommend. Um, also, I will say that we usually watch Elmo's brushing teeth song on YouTube while we do this part of our bed bedtime routine. But um, because I'm recording this on my phone, I couldn't play it for him. But he didn't really seem to mind anyway. But you can see here in this part of the video where he really starts to push back and not want me to brush his teeth. So if you have any tips on how to get your toddler, toddler to let you brush their teeth, I would really appreciate them. You can just leave them in the comments. Okay, so now I'm just taking Isaiah into the bedroom to get him dressed and put his diaper on. We use overnights by Huggies for bedtime. I feel like they just keep him dry and they don't leak so much better than regular daytime diapers. 
So I'm going to link those in my Amazon shop below. If you have leaky diapers happening and you haven't tried Huggies overnights, I highly recommend them. Um, we've been using Aquaphor for his diaper cream since he was born. It's great as a preventative for diaper rash. And we've also been putting it on the bottoms of his feet lately because for some reason they've been getting super dried. I'm not sure if it's because he spends so much time outside playing barefoot or if it's from the pool or what, but they were really irritating him for a while. And it seems to have been helping since we started using it. And then we also use this honest lavender scented body lotion on the rest of his body to just calm him down and get him ready for bed. Okay, so now I'm just putting some pajamas on Isaiah. He usually wears a onesie or just shorts and a t-shirt because we are in the middle of summer here in Southern California, so it is quite hot. Um, even though I keep the air conditioning <laughs> running pretty strong because when I'm pregnant, I get hot so easily. I can't let the air go up past like 72. But I think Isaiah runs hot too because it doesn't seem to bother him at all. Um, and then I just comb his hair out. We always get asked, how long are you going to let him grow his hair out? And we just, the answer is we don't know. We're just kind of going with it. He hasn't had his hair cut since he was born. So we're just letting it be free. <laughs> and then I just close the blinds and the curtains. We use blackout curtains. And I even put double-sided tape on either side of the curtains which is what I'm pushing down on the wall right here to keep any extra light from filtering in. Part of the sleep training that we used with Isaiah was to make the room as dark as possible. So this was just one thing that I did in order to achieve that. So now I'm putting him in his sleep sack and he likes to turn the light on and off with his feet, which is why it just went black for a second there. And I'm giving him his pacifier. And now we're gonna sit down and read like two to three books before I sing him a song and put him in his crib. I actually love this part of our routine. I think it's so awesome that Isaiah enjoys it as well. He will sit there and read books with us, but he will tell us what books he does and does not want to read each night, <laughs> which you'll see happening here in a little bit. But first, Daddy came home from the gym, so he's saying goodnight to Isaiah. Usually when Scott is home, he'll put Isaiah down to bed, but um, since he didn't get to go to the gym earlier today, I told him I would do it instead. So right now, I think we're just reading usually Big Brother books that I got him to kind of prep him for the new baby, which he seems to really be liking. Um, and then I get his lovey. He has like three or four that he sleeps with, but this one is his favorite. And then I'm about to sing him a song and turn the lights off. What's up? Okay, so it's now the next day and I just wanted to fill you in a little bit. <laughs> the video blacked out because I turned the lights off as I was singing a song to Isaiah. For our bedroom, bedtime routine, I always sing him the same song. Actually, I do it for his naps as well. It's called You Are Beautiful, I believe. It's a very old song and my dad actually used to sing it to me when I was little growing up. I couldn't tell you who it's by, but I'll probably try to Google it and link it in the description for you if you want to listen. <laughs> so um, that's how we end our bedtime routine. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel as I do plan on sharing plenty more videos around mom routines, toddler routines, workout routines, and much more around health and fitness as I am a weight loss coach for women. And I've learned how to balance keeping myself healthy um, while being a mom. And I know that that's very, very difficult for most of us. So stay tuned if you wanna see more content like that as well. So before I forget, I am going to link my Amazon shop below. That'll have all the items, the products, the things that you saw in this nighttime routine um, available for you to shop if you saw anything that you liked and wanted to try out for yourself. 
And if there's anything that I don't link, please let me know in the comments and I will be sure to add it for you. But again, thank you for watching. Make it a great day and I'll catch you in my next video.